Hi, in this video we will see how using the properties of square numbers we can find out Pythagorean triplets. Now, we know that Pythagoras theorem can be applied to right angle triangle. So, if I have a right angle triangle with the sides A, B and C, C being the hypotenuse, we know that according to Pythagoras theorem, A square plus B square will be equal to C square. And we also know the C, which is our hypotenuse, is the longest side of the triangle. Okay, so we can write some of the Pythagorean triplet. The most commonly used are 3, 4, 5. If A is 3, B is 4, then when we apply the Pythagoras theorem, we get 3 square plus 4 square, which is 9 plus 16, which is 25, and which is 5 square. So we get C as a 5. Or we can have a Pythagorean triplet as uh, 12, 5 and 30. We see that 12 square plus 5 square is 144 plus 25 which gives you 169 which is 13 square. Fine. But now what if we have to find more such Pythagorean triplet like this? So, we will use the property of square numbers. The property says that for any natural number, m, okay, and m has to be greater than 1. The property says that 2m, m square minus 1 and m square plus 1 these three together forms a Pythagorean triplet. Okay, so it means that in the triangle you will have any one of the legs of the triangle as 2m, the other leg is m square minus 1 and the hypotenuse will be m square plus 1 because out of these three the biggest one is m square plus 1 and hence 2m whole square plus m square minus 1 whole square will be equal to m square plus 1 whole square. Okay, let us learn this property through examples. Write a Pythagorean triplet whose smallest member is 8. Since it is the smallest member, it can't be the hypotenuse. Because hypotenuse is the largest member of the Pythagorean triplet and so it can't be the hypotenuse. So out of 2m, m square minus 1 and m square plus 1 which is the Pythagorean triplet according to the property m square plus 1 can't be 8. So either 2m is equal to 8 or m square minus 1 is equal to 8 we will be seeing both of these scenarios. So when 2m is 8, m comes as 4. Okay, so we can find out all the 3. m square minus 1 will be 4 square minus 1, which is 16 minus 1, which is 15. And m square plus 1 will be 4 square plus 1, which is equal to 17. So our Pythagorean triplet is 2m, m square minus 1 and m square plus 1. So we get 2m as 8, 8, 15 and 17. If m square minus 1 is 8, m square is 8 plus 1 which is 9. So m can be 3. Remember m can't be negative 3 because m has to be greater than 1. So m has to be a positive natural number greater than 1. So m is 3. Now let us find all the 3. So 2m is 2 times 3 which is 6. m square minus 1 is 3 square minus 1 which is 8. And m square plus 1 is 3 square plus 1 which is 10. So the Pythagorean triplet which we get here is 6, 8 and 10. So we got two Pythagorean triplets here with the smallest member being 8. Let us see. Which of the Pythagorean triplet satisfies that condition? If we look at this Pythagorean triplet, 
8 is not the smallest member and hence we discard this Pythagorean triplet and if we look at this Pythagorean triplet 8 is the smallest member and hence the required Pythagorean triplet is 8, 15 and 17. I hope this example is clear to everyone. Let us see one more example. Find a Pythagorean triplet in which one member is 12. It can be any of the member. It can either be 2m is equal to 12 or m square minus 1 is equal to 12 or m square plus 1 is equal to 12. These are the three members of the Pythagorean triplet and it says that any one member is 12. We need to figure out which member is 12 now. From here we get m is 6. From here we get m square as 13. Correct? And from here m square is 11. In these two cases, we see that m will not be a natural number. Because none of the square numbers when squared gives you a 13 or a 11. 13 and 11 are not square numbers. Okay. So the only option left with us is to take m as 6. And now when m is 6, you have figured out, you can figure out all the three participants. So 2m is 12 m square minus 1 is equal to 6 square minus 1 which is 35 and m square plus 1 is equal to 6 square plus 1 which is 37 and hence your Pythagoras triplet is 12, 35 and 37. 37 being the hypotenuse, 12 and 35 are the two legs of the right angle triangle. So I hope it is understood. How do we determine the Pythagorean triplet using the properties of square numbers? Any doubts regarding this property and the examples which we have done, you can send me an email at kirti.mathacademy at gmail.com. This is my YouTube channel, Math Academy. If you have liked my videos, please don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Thank you.